today I'm going to show you guys step by step how you can set up Facebook ad campaigns if you're a beginner or if you're familiar with dropshipping. And I'm going to go through all the steps of how I create my campaigns, the strategies that I use, and all the different ways you can test Facebook ads. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So if you guys just created a new Facebook ads account and now you're ready to run your first campaigns, the first page you're going to see here is your account overview dashboard. So once you're in here, the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously get your account set up by adding a payment method and it's going to prompt you to do that right here which is really really easy i'm going to go ahead and skip that for now because i'm not going to be actually spending on these ads but to go ahead and create your first campaign on facebook ads you're going to go over here to the sidebar and click on the campaigns tab now this is going to bring you to where you can manage all of your different ad campaigns you can check your budgets your performance in your ads and everything you're doing so i'm going to go ahead and click this big green button in the top left corner that says create and that's going to be creating your first campaign. So creating your campaign, there's a few different options you can choose to go ahead and drive traffic to. Now this is dependent on what kind of ad you're running and what you're using ads for. So in my case, and I'm assuming what you're doing as well is promoting a dropshipping product. So your main goal in these ads is to get sales to your dropshipping store. So you want people to go off of Facebook onto your website and purchase something from it. So that's gonna go ahead and be sales, obviously pretty simple. You can do different topics like awareness, which is just bringing eyes to your brand or you don't want to take people off of the platform traffic if you just want clicks or people to view what's on your website engagement leads at promotion and sales but obviously for this section we're going to be doing sales because i'm going to be promoting a drop shipping product so click that and go ahead and click continue. I'm always gonna do manual sales campaign because you have the most customization over your ad and you can really, really fine tune things. So now our campaign is created. For the name, just go ahead and put something you're gonna remember. I'm gonna do Zen ads. So on to the next step, if you guys aren't really familiar with Facebook ads, it's really, really easy to get banned. And it's also kind of a joke with a lot of people for how often Facebook restricts or bans people for their ads. And there's a lot of different things you can do. Even if you're not meaning to do something against the rules, it's a really, really simple process to get banned. They're not lenient with rules whatsoever. So you're gonna wanna make sure you take every single precaution to not get restricted on Facebook. So to go ahead and do that, I'm gonna go ahead and declare my ads as not related to credit or employment because this is a key factor that's going to instantly get your ad campaigns banned but if you declare it's not it's not going to put you on that watch list for people to check and not give you that extra risk so just click categorize your ads and as long as you're not relating your ads to something on the lines of credit cards or bank ads bank loans that kind of stuff just go ahead and click no next you don't have to put anything with employment no housing no SIP and then based on your response, you're likely not promoting a product or service that falls within credit, employment, housing, or social issues, which makes it really, really easy for Facebook not to automatically ban you on accident. So that's just one extra piece of protection for you. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, bidding type. I'm gonna go ahead and do auction. It's basically just Facebook competing for the lowest cost per click on your ads. So you don't need to have a set budget, but it just makes everything pretty easy when they're automatically doing the auctioning and bidding for you. Now in this video, I'm not gonna go ahead and do a catalog ad because we don't have enough campaigns. You can also do an A-B test. If you have multiple different versions and variations of a creative, you can go ahead and do an A-B test and test a different type of, and test multiple ads within the same campaign. So it's testing to figure out which one does better and it's gonna constantly switch between the two that are shown, see which one performs better with your customer base and then it's gonna go ahead and put more of your funds to the ad that's performing better. But once again, we don't have that many creators for this video, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do an A-B test. For the Advantage campaign budget, this is similar to a CBO with TikTok, where it's gonna take your entire budget and spread it across your ad sets. I am gonna go ahead and do this for this video. I'm just gonna set this at $25 for this video. So every single day, this campaign is gonna be spending $25 across all of the different ad sets that I have. And as you can see here, it's gonna be an average of $50 per day. My maximum daily spend is $43. My maximum weekly spend is $175. Now you're gonna start creating your ad sets. Our campaign is based 
basically the umbrella for all of our ads. Then within your ad sets and ads is where each creative is going to be put in. So you can be running a separate budget, separate ads. You can do five or six different creatives at once, all under the same campaign, or you can set multiple different campaigns with different ads. So usually depending on how many products you're testing, you're usually going to create one campaign for each product. So if you're testing one product, you're going to create campaign one with four or five different creatives that you're testing in that campaign. Then campaign two is a different product with a separate three or four creatives. So you can organize everything and keep it simple. That's the main purpose of campaigns. But now that we're creating our ad set for Zen ads, go ahead and take each one and just name it add one. Then add set two will be add two, add three, etc. Just something that makes it easy for you to remember. Now, our conversion location is going to be a website because assuming you're drop shipping, you're going to be using Shopify and having a clean website landing page, which you're going to want to put website here. Now, your performance goal with Facebook ads is always going to be to maximize the number of conversions, basically meaning they're just going to try to maximize how many sales you get on your website for the amount of money you're spending. Now, a Facebook pixel is something you're going to want to make sure you have. I already have one set up as you can see, but if you don't, you're going to want to go to your ads manager and go to all tools and click on pixel and create a new pixel that you can sync to your ad set. Basically, this is going to connect to your Shopify store and it's going to show Facebook how many people are clicking on your website, how many people are adding to cart, how many people aren't purchasing, what type of customers are and what type of customers aren't. And it's going to further optimize your ad to show your videos and show your creatives to more customers to more people like the customers that are purchasing from your website, and it's just gonna give them a lot more tracking data to further optimize your ads further than what you're doing on Facebook itself. But as you can see, I already have mine. Now for conversions, you're gonna to wanna to set up sales. So track conversions with standard events. It makes it really easy because it's automatically gonna be synced with Shopify and you don't have to do any extra steps. So my conversion goal is going to be to initiate a purchase. So go ahead and do my conversion value. Let's say you're selling a your product for $20. Now that is gonna be done. Now, after this, our budget and schedule is what you're gonna set, but we already have the CBO, so you don't have to really worry about a budget for each ad. As you can see, it's already set up using an advantage campaign budget, but if you didn't decide to use that setting, you're gonna be able to set individual budgets for every ad. But like I said before, especially if you're doing each campaign with each product, an advantage campaign budget is the better decision. But for our start date, you wanna start the day after you're setting up your ad. So I'm gonna start this on June 18th and I am gonna start it at 7.44 a.m. Now, if you want your ad to end at a certain time, you can select an end date. I'm not gonna do that here because I will be actively managing my ads and there's no reason for me to go ahead and set an end date if it's performing well. For the audience control, usually on the first ad set, I don't like to touch this at all. I like to see what Facebook does automatically and let the algorithm take advantage of what it does best and deliver your ads to the customers that it thinks is appropriate. But after you're creating a few different ad sets, you can start messing with this, changing locations, changing different demographics and seeing what performs best for you and edit your ads in the future. So there is going to be a little bit of a budget testing phase where you're probably going to lose some money, probably going to make some money, and eventually you're going to be able to figure out what works best for you. Then next, it's going to take you to your new sales ad. So you have your campaign, then you have your ad set, then your ad. Each ad is its own creative. So these are just the videos that's going to be shown on Facebook, Instagram, Meta, whatever. Now for this, I'm going to do creative one it's not a partnership ad because you are promoting your own business identity you can go ahead and select whatever identity you want or create a new one basically just going to be the brand name that shows on your ad now you can also use an instagram account or facebook page and connect it so it shows the exact username profile picture and name that's on your instagram page already for your company or you can just create an alias or you can just create a new identity directly from Facebook ads. Now, if your ad setup, you can create an ad basically just by uploading a video or picture from your computer, or you can also use an existing post. Now, this is basically gonna be promoting a post that's already on Facebook or already on Instagram and just drive traffic to that post, kind of similar to a Spark ad on TikTok. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with create ad. I don't need to do this. Manual upload obviously is what you're gonna do because you are creating the creatives yourself. 
Now, this is what you're going to do for your ad. It's either going to be a single image or video, a carousel, or a collection. So, basically, a single image and video is the same thing that you'd be running on something like TikTok ads, where it's just either a short form video or a square video that's going to be shown to people scrolling on Facebook or Instagram and on their explore page. Or you can offer a carousel, where it's just going to be a picture or video and they can scroll through it. And a collection is just a selection of different items that you're selling on your website all grouped into one bundle on Facebook. But I'm going to obviously do single image and video. Ad sources, you want to go ahead and show where your website's going to be directed to. Just connect your Shopify store here. Ad creative is where you're going to be adding your media. So you can either select to add an image or add a video. Usually you're going to want to do videos with Facebook ads. That's what performs the best. So people can be kind of interactive with your website and see what's working. Now for primary text, this is what's going to be shown that people can read where you can say order yours today for 50% off or buy from so-and-so website today. And your headline is going to be the bigger blockier text above that where you can just say new offer or shop here today. This is how I did this. It's just some examples of what you can put on your headline. Now your description is going to be the smaller, thinner text where you can kind of add a little bit more detail to your creative to where people, if they want more information, they can further read into that. It's all similar copywriting to an Instagram post. Now your call to action is going to be the button on your ad that people can click to go to your website. Now you can select from a bunch of different ones on here for here because it is going to be a Shopify store dropshipping product, I'm going to go ahead and put shop now, but you can select all these different ones and test with different creatives and see what works best for you. Now I'm not going to add any info labels and for your destination. Now this is where people are going to be brought to once they click the shop now button on your creative, you're going to want to direct this to your product page, not your home page, not your landing page. You want this directed exactly to your Shopify product page to where as soon as they click that button, they can instantly take a couple clicks and go ahead and have that product on the way to them. You can also add an add on for them to call or email you, which I'm not going to do tracking. Obviously you do want to select website events so it connects your pixel. My pixel isn't active right now because I haven't run Facebook ads in quite a while, but if you're creating a new pixel, obviously that is going to be connected to your website. I just don't have it connected to a Shopify store at the moment. Now, next, once you finish all these steps, your Facebook ad is ready to run. You can go ahead and click publish and then your ad is done. So that's been all the steps to create Facebook ads for beginners. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I'll try to answer as many as possible, but without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.